as you guys probably know by now, part of the magic formula for big money making audiobooks mm -hmm. is longer audiobooks, mm -hmm. at least three hours long. Mm -hmm. So with that said, we're gonna show you guys in this video how we like to make audiobooks longer so they always reach three hours. Yes. Shall we get into it? Yeah. Mm. Ooh. All right. <sighs> so there's actually two components to this question, uh, two that we want to talk about. So one is how do you make your audiobooks longer after it's already narrated so it falls just short of that three hour mark or whatever mark you want to hit. And then also, how do you make just audiobooks longer in general? Because this is a question we've been getting a lot recently. Like we've mentioned that we've had two to three thousand word books that we've had narrated and they can be two to three hours long. And like, uh, how does that make sense? 3,000 words is supposed to be like 30 minutes or 20 minutes, but there is actually ways that you could make such a few amount of words to a long audiobook. Like, like let's just put this as simply as possible. Longer audiobooks sell better. And the reason why is because they're priced higher and Audible has this membership system thing where they will pay a certain amount of money per month to get a certain amount of credits. So the majority, at least from us, what per, what oh, percent, we, actually, we actually have data to back this up now. What percent of our sales come from credits? Well, I say from my, on my personal account, uh, from around tw a little over 22,000 sales, 17,000 out of those 22,000 sales has come from credits. That's a shitload. Yeah, so people lot. aren't paying in cash. They're paying with this monthly credit that they get from Audible where this one credit can be redeemed for any audiobook in the entire store, whether it's three ninety five or twenty nine ninety five, it doesn't matter. So people are obviously because they're smart, they're spending it on these long expensive audiobooks. Yeah, to them, all audiobooks cost the same. Yeah. When they pay with the credit. So they're always gonna they could sort by longest audiobooks maybe because they want the most for their money or the most for their credit. So right. briefly, yeah, that that's why long audiobooks sell more as well, on top of having like making twice or three yeah. times as much per yeah. sale. So you definitely want to focus on making long audiobooks. And that's one thing we're going to talk about a lot in the course because it's just such a big aspect of creating these audiobooks that rake in, sorry, lots of freaking cash. Speaking of the course, can we like talk, talk oh, yeah. about it and update it? We're, we're like 90% done. Yeah. We're like super done with it. Yeah, like all, the lessons, all the lessons have been filmed. Yeah. There's just like... um. Like the sales page, like okay. a sales video. And it's mostly born back end stuff, email shit, funnels, things that we're learning. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Speaking of email shit, we're trying to gain as many emails as we can. Oh, yeah. We Link in the description to the five keys to success to building a big audiobook business. Yes. Sign up, get on the email list, and get emailed any uh, discount codes. Like the first 24 hours of the course is going to be a 50% discount. Yeah, so let's just say that right now. Yeah, just so you know. For, so It's only 24 hours, so like you got to be super quick, so I'll definitely join that email that's list. That's why we're saying this ahead of time like this. Yeah. So if you ever like are thinking about getting the course, like not getting it in the first 24 hours is it's just like, financially it's, irresponsible. It's just not smart. Yeah. If you ever want to get it, yeah. that's the time to do it. Actually, before we get into it, we've been thinking we want to do another Q and A session. We did one a few months ago. Yeah, that that was fun, and I think people enjoyed it. So we want to do it again. Yeah. Uh, so what are some rules that we have for it? See, the rules is no rules. Okay. Okay. The rule That's is there's right. one rule, and it's like a limit of two questions per person or something like that. Yeah. Because yeah. I will say one specific person left 15 questions, a whole 30 minute Q&A, which basically just answering his questions. Yeah, we had a whole video for him. Because we have our own rule and that is that we answer every single question that we yes, get. Yes, yes. And he answered 15, we're like, oh, dude, Bro, what? Okay. I mean, we have to. Here's an episode for you, I guess then. He, here's the, I'll say, here's the Vinay Kumar episode. Vinay Kumar, <laughs> that's what it was. <laughs> yeah. If you could leave two questions, and I would like if it could be one, Publishing related or business related one business related and then one not business related with no category attached to it Yeah, so I think that would be cool So yeah, please do ask questions and we will be taking them and answering every single freaking question that we yeah, get. Yeah, that's that is a rule that we have All right, let's move on to the video though for real. Yeah So how do you make your audiobooks longer if they just fall short of the next pricing tier? I'm gonna put down the screen real quick what these tiers are so you have a look at that, but it's actually quite simple. All you're gonna do is put a teaser slash sneak peek slash preview slash whatever you want to call it at the end of your audiobook. Aka, I could end it right there because that's really all it is. Yeah, but I mean, people don't know the, like, the exact step by step how to do it. So let's just cover that real quick. All right, so what you're gonna want to do? So just 
at the end or after the conclusion of your book, you're just gonna write this after it. Something like this. I'm just quoting this, reading off the screen. I would like to share with you a free sneak peek to another one of my audiobooks that I think you will really enjoy. The audiobook is called blank and it's about blank, whatever the hell it's about. Enjoy. Mm -hmm. That's it. And then you have the narrator read, read the first one, two chapters, whatever. However long you need to get to the next pricing tier. Now don't, let's not have an hour of, right, of preview. I'm thinking half an hour. If you can get a half an hour in there, that's fair. And then after they read that, end it with, if you enjoyed this preview of my audiobook titled blank, be sure to check out the full audiobook on audible.com. So it also promotes one of your other books. Bang, bang, that's a win-win. That's it. That's two birds, one stone. That's all it is. It's super easy like that. So that is how you make your audiobooks longer after the fact, like after they're narrated. Mm -hmm. Now, you, there's a lot of things you can do before to make sure that it is longer. So I want to say real quick on that note, you can't really do this to your books that are already published. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like one that's like 250, like, ah, oh, fuck, yeah, I need that 10 minutes. It has to not be released yet. Yeah, sadly, yeah. sadly, because you could update it. Like, you can update it. And the book will get over three hours if you do this. But ACX most likely is not going to update the price. Yeah. So, and that's what we care about. We don't, honestly don't care about the length. We care about the price. Being we also care about the length. It's the price that we care the most about. Mm -hmm. So, I uh, would not recommend going to your old audiobooks and adding books. It'll probably just end up being a waste of time, though. To be I, honest I've done you. that before. And then, like, yeah, we're not changing the price. I'm like, sick. All right, now part two of this question. We've been talking a lot recently about these short audiobooks or short manuscripts at least that turn into long audiobooks. And uh, I understand why that might be confusing. Like what, how is that possible? But there's actually a lot of things you could do that can make this possible. Mm -hmm. That's like one of the most common questions we're getting now. Like what can you guys please elaborate on that? Please elaborate. Like, okay, we will elaborate on it. What you're doing is you're creating audiobooks where things like pauses, are natural and encouraged and help the quality of the audiobook. So pauses, parts where you would repeat the text, you would say it once or twice over again. Um, something where you would put some sort of music in the background or sound effects, or you would just add anything to the audio that isn't text or words, anything that isn't words. You have to think outside of the box of like, uh, yeah, it's really the business and marketing, Diet books, keto, paleo, like it's not, it's not those kinds of books. It's yeah. not that type of book. Yeah, ex expand your thinking when it comes to audiobooks. A lot of these kinds of audiobooks are like types of books, categories slash topics that would not do very well as ebooks or print books simply because consuming them as an ebook just wouldn't make that That's much nice. sense. Yeah. And like, so, so it's something that it's best taken in as an audiobook. Stop thinking about ebook books. Like there's way more with audio. Mm -hmm. And I want to give an example. So yeah, here's an example. So yeah, we've been looking to create these types of books. I'm doing all kinds of research. And here's an example. And the reason why I'm sharing let's it. Get, let's get closer. Let's get closer. The reason why I'm let's sharing closer, this. Closer. Okay, okay. So the reason why I'm sharing it is because it's actually not as profitable as we had hoped when we first made this or when we first looked into it, mm -hmm. right? So an example here is guided <laughs> yoga lessons. Yeah, that's an example. Guided yoga lessons. So, like, think about what we've been saying. As an ebook, like that, that's not gonna make much sense. Like, it doesn't even like you can't even read. I, a guided I suppose yoga you could roll out your yoga mat, put your Kindle reader down there, and start doing these downward dog things, and yeah. then, and then all this yoga shit that it explains, <laughs> all that yoga shit. But it just wouldn't make much sense to sit there and read it. But as an audiobook, mm -hmm. boom, you press play, you have. Your narrator reading out. I don't even. Our mom is like so uh, yoga breathing. crazy, but I don't know anything about it still. So it goes like this whole breathing, and then breathe out. They got the background music playing, and there's pauses because yeah, like, they give you pauses like now stretch your lower back, mm -hmm. and then it pauses like ten seconds yeah. and breathe out. Yeah, like you understand, you know, yeah. like so these audiobooks can be super long with so this, very few words. This guided yoga script can be a few thousand words. But it could turn into a really long audiobook. Okay? As an ebook, no one's gonna buy it. As an audiobook, like, yeah, I'm buying this, turning it on, and I'm doing my Monday yoga routine. So yeah. that's just an example. We're not gonna say any more examples. That's yeah. just one, just to get the ball rolling in your head. And you can look into the numbers, but like from what we found, the numbers were not as good as we had yeah. been hoping. Yeah, I thought, I thought it would be super popular, to be honest. Yeah. I really thought it would. Yeah, I thought so as well. So 
But in that, terms of competition, are there a bunch out there like that right now? No, there aren't that many. But I mean, uh, it's definitely worth trying. Yeah. So of these 60 books we, we just ordered, none of them are guided yoga. No. Uh, but fucking try it. Absolutely yeah. try it. Yeah, try it. Just one, oh, a thousand, two thousand words. And it's, a, it's a $40 risk you're taking. Yeah. If you just know yoga, you could literally sit down and write this yourself. This is what we're talking about. This is what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. You could sit down and write long audiobooks yourself pretty easily. And then get, get you some non-copyrighted background music to play. Yeah, play in the background, like... Boom, you got a really high quality audio. Give that to the narrator, of course, and all that. So yeah, that's more or less it. Mm -hmm. I think that answers both parts of that question. We covered how to make your audio. This was just one example. This was just one example oh, yeah. of many more. In the course, I think we give like 15 different examples. We literally of, just throw oh. down every idea we've ever thought of. Mm -hmm. And we'll give you the ones that we're trying out as well. Yeah. Uh, oh, buy my course, buy my course. There's so good stuff inside. That's not what we're trying to do. I'm just no, being real. I'm saying I, what's in it. They're not thinking that. Okay, good. We're just self conscious about paranoid. people thinking that we're selling it. Because I don't like being that online marketing guy that's trying to sell you shit. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, that is the end of the video, I guess. That covers everything we want to talk about. Remember to drop those QA questions. Remember to drop those QA yeah, questions. Yeah, drop some QA questions. Yeah, so if you watch this video to the end, drop some QA questions. That's how you can send us a message yeah. that you watched to the end. Yes. Uh, but you could also preface by saying, I still watch to the end, even though you asked this in the beginning. So yeah. I still watch it to the end. Yeah. And then put a donut emoji. Okay. Okay. Thanks for watching. Bye. Do the thing with the hand. I always do it. You do it.